Hey guys, Southern Sun Kern here, uh, back with some more uh, Pokemon 151. Super excited. This is actually uh, the night before Pokemon 151 is supposed to officially hit the shelves. Uh, some of my pre orders came in. Uh, the big one being, of course, the Pokemon Center. Um, elite trainer box which i'll do in another video but i was able to find this was the only booster bundle left i i know somebody probably snagged all the other ones and they left one behind but this is the only uh booster bundle bundle left at walmart where they had these out early so grabbed it because my original booster bundle is delayed from best buy but let's see let's see uh how well we can do um i know a lot of people complain about the um the hit rate of this set, but anything for me is going to be better than Obsidian Flame. So if I can get one of those uh, hollow energies and maybe um, an IR card, an illustration rare card, I, I'll call it a win in uh, my book. Maybe even just a regular EX, I'll call it a win in my book. But I know for most people, this is going to be how people try and complete the set, these booster bundles. This is really the first time that Pokemon has offered something like this for these special sets. Uh, so the special sets, usually you can only get the the packs of it in like boxes and elite trainer boxes. So I'm very happy that they're offering a booster bundle of this set because I, I really love this set. I love the look of it. I love the, um, I love the foil that it comes in. It's just so bright. It's so happy and cheery. And I think Mew's just, you know, just a frolicking, fun-loving Pokemon to begin with. So it's just an enjoyable set, I feel. Or at least I feel like it's going to be a very fun, enjoyable set. More so than... I don't say it's going to beat Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith was a lot of fun, but definitely like probably better than like Pokemon Go and uh, Celebrations. That kind of came... No, it would have been... Ah, oh, the one with the shinies. Hidden... No, not Hidden Fate. I can't remember what it was called, but I think more fun than those, so, than some of the other um, special sets in, in prior years. But let's see. All right, let's see what damage we can do in this booster bundle. Now, obviously, one booster bundle is not enough to go off of in terms of like what you can expect out of it, but we'll see. All right, we're starting off with one of my favorites, the Goldeen. Love this Goldeen, a real plus, plus, plus. Nidoran, Ghastly, then we've got a Paris. Ooh, all right, have not seen this one, this Nidoran, and we're kind of continuing. I wonder if I can pull it back out. Well, I mean, it's a dark type Pokemon. Anyway, um, they're kind of this dark theming, even though it's the middle of the day in this card, even the sky looks dark. I, I, I like the style. I like the setting, even though it's kind of a more simple setting. A real plus plus there. Story-wise, not as intriguing, I think, as the um, the Nidoran, the shocked Nidoran, seeing something out in these spooky woods, but I'll give it a check. So I do like this, um, this Nidoran line. I can't remember what the Nidoqueen looks like. Radicate. I do like this Radicate card. So he is front and center. I like we kind of have like Half the card is in, uh, we have some light going on. In the other half, we have some darkness. So I like the style. I'll give the style a, a check for this card. Setting's fine. I'll give it a check. Story-wise, even though he's looking right at us, I'm kind of freaked out. Raticate's always kind of freaked me out in terms of its looks. But I think kind of rats in general freak me out. And I think it has something to do with the teeth. And it's just something creepy about this card like what is Raticate doing sitting on this trunk so I gotta give um the story of this card a plus I think so I, I do like this card I like a lot of the cards in this set uh, everybody's favorite Erica's uh invitation I've already got an Erica card that I'm happy with from Sun and Moon I can't remember what that one was called I did really well with the trainer cards of the Sun and Moon era so I'm good on trainer cards I I don't really um not really hurting for the train card hits of the set. I would much rather get um, the Pokemon. Ooh, love this Squirtle 
absolutely adore it and I absolutely want the um the IR rare of this car but this is just such a happy squirtle I love the setting of this card this tropical setting it's a plus the style really pops really stands out a plus and I love the story squirtle is so happy jumping into this water so I've got to give that a plus as well for this card then we have a helix fossil and we get a Golem EX. And I love that these EXs so far, they are, they're drawn. All right, so this is Uta here drawing us this card. These are not uh, CGI cards. These are not five band graphic uh, EX cards. And I really hope they continue this trend with the regular EXs because it just, it, it looks so much better to have them uh, drawn by actual well, I mean, it's not that the people at Five Band aren't artists, but it's just the CG look, I think, really kind of takes away from it. You can't beat the um, the hand-drawn stuff, and that's no exception here for this Golem EX. So I am happy to get this. So we have a hit, and nice. Oh, ooh, lots of swirls on this um on this hollow energy i love this psychic energy oh man i love i know people aren't counting these as hits but i absolutely am i love these hollow energies i will take as many as i can get i think i saw like three swirls in that galaxy foil i love the galaxy foil of the scarlet and violet era i hope it never ends please don't get rid of it all right so we have our code and let's see, we get a Ghastly, in Paris, Voltorb, we have a Shiny Krabby, an Almond Knight. Okay, so I, I had not, I was about to say, I thought I had encountered this card, but I had, I'm thinking of the Amistar Hollow, and I'm seeing a trend here. The Amistar Hollow is kind of like the exact same setup, but a lot darker so this is kind of like the lead up to it with this ominite i like it it's a precursor to the amistar card i gave that amistar hollow a plus 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 i'm going to give it to this ominite here as well i love a good dark themed underwater card and this is getting us there to that amistar so very happy about that this taurus all right we have an interesting style here but something about it taurus's face i don't know i i, I can't get behind it it, it kind of reminds me of something like those creepy i love claymation but this kind of reminds me of like this kind of like the more freakier of the old school um claymation movies but that doesn't mean it's necessarily bad it's absolutely not they're going with a very different style here so i gotta give that a plus, very majestic setting, uh, and appropriate for a Pokemon like Taurus. Um, so I think I said that I'll give the, the style a plus. I'll give the setting, love it. Gotta love those like Grand Tetons, canyons in the background. I'll give that a plus too. And the story is fine. It's appropriate for Taurus. All right. He's about to face off maybe against somebody. He's not happy that we are here. So I'll give that a check. Ooh, and then we get the Kadabra. All right, the reason why we have Pokemon 151. Love it. Onyx, have not seen this one yet. And I gotta say, this is kind of one of those meh ones, kind of a minus situation going on for me here. Nothing really to stand out with this Onyx. And I kind of think the artwork, the style of the Onyx kind of conflicts with what we have going on in terms of the style of the background. I don't know. All right, it's one of those minus cards for me, but that's okay. Ooh, Vaporeon. This is a very bright and cheery, positive underwater card. Um, Style-wise, it's fine. I'll give it a check. Settings, fine. Give it a check. Story, it's fine. Vaporeon's happy. I'll give that a check as well. Then we have an Articuno as our hollow. Like the Articuno, it's fine too. I mean, nothing really to complain about uh, with this. I might say the setting might be a minus for this because there's really not a whole lot it's just kind of darkness space in the background so I might give it a minus for that but i'll put a check for the other two for setting and um well story it's just kind of powerful of course might have to get that a minus as well but let's see oh no hollow energy that's fine all right would love a hollow fire energy though i must say all right so getting to pack number three I mean, I know we haven't seen all of the 151 yet, 
But, I mean, it shouldn't take too long to make much of a dent in terms of, like, getting through. Whoa, okay. Huh, okay, so that's upside down. Okay, I wonder if the other ones will be upside down. No, okay, all right. Crabby, sand shrew. Ooh, seal. Okay, I love the story of this. Seal's just passed out. He's got a full tummy, so I'm going to give the story of this card a plus. Um, style's fine. It's a check. And setting's fine as well. I'll give it a check. But I like the story. You got a full belly. Can't go wrong with that. Ooh, Magneton. We got a Mori card. Love it. Always got to give. I'm biased here. Always got to give that um, a plus, plus, plus for Mori. It's, it's, it's an instant plus. All right, here's the Nitto Queen. So I was curious about this Nitto Queen. And I was wondering if it was going to kind of continue the dark theming uh, of its prior evolutions, but it's really not. I mean, it's still kind of dark, but not so much as the other cards. I don't really like the look that Nitto Queen is giving off in this card. I don't think I like the store. Well, I don't know. Nitto Queen kind of looks disgusted at something. So maybe that is kind of intriguing. Maybe I'll give the story a check here. Style-wise, check. Setting, I don't know. Eh, it's fine. I might have to give it a minus, but I'm kind of let down with the end result. I don't think it really matches the Nidorino and the, uh, the Nidoran that came before it. But I am intrigued by the look that it is giving in this card. Oop. Kind of got a preview victory belt, another jerky card. I think of the three, um, I think probably I like the um, the Bell Sprout the most out of this evolution line. This one's fine. Of course, I love the style. It's a plus. Um, doesn't really stand out as much or a jerky style as much as the other two. I might downgrade that to a check, actually. Setting, fine, check, story, not a whole lot there. I might have to give that a minus. So definitely I think Weeping Bell uh, takes the prize or takes the cake for that evolution line. Dugong, all right, I do like that Dugong card. Venonet, we have not seen. I like the expression. I mean, I know there's not really an expression there, but um, just from its body language, I guess. I like what Venonat is uh, giving off in this card. Like the setting, we I love a good Enchanted Forest. I feel like we get that here uh, with the um, the bright specs, maybe the Firefly. No, not Fireflies, because I mean this Pokemon universe, but still, I like the Enchanted Forest vibe going on. I like the style, so setting a plus. Style's good, I'll give that a plus. And I like the story. I, I just like this... It's almost cute, this expression that um, Venonat, or the, the body language that Venonat is giving off. Venonat's really enjoying being in this forest. I, that's what I seem to get from this card. So I'll give that a plus. All right, let's see. We have an electrode as our hollow. Like it. Uh, I like this. I definitely like this background. I mean, it's all action in the background, but I do like that. I'm going to give that a plus for its setting. Story-wise, it's fine. We know Electro. We, we pretty much know what we're going to get. It's a check. And style, I like it. It's a check. And then let's see. Oh, I didn't do the code. I'll have to get that out. All right, no hollow energy in this one, but here's our code. All right, so let's see. Let's see, maybe we can get maybe something a little more substantial than a regular EX. I know hit rates aren't supposed to be good here. So I guess I can't really complain. I mean, I'm just happy to get a um, a hollow energy and just a regular EX, especially one that's actually drawn. So I probably really shouldn't complain at all. All right, so we start off with a sand shrew, a seal. Ooh, duo. Have not seen this one. I like the action. I like the um, the angle of this card. So we're underneath the duo. So we really get to kind of like feel the impact. I mean, the duo kind of being based off of an ostrich. Ostriches are like really big and intimidating actually in person. I mean, they're super fast runners. They have these giant legs. I mean, kind of ferocious claws. I mean, definitely reminds you of a raptor or a dinosaur, its origins. So definitely giving us some power by having this card set at this angle so i love the story i'm going to give that a plus i like the style i'm going to give that a plus setting 
a little hard to make out. I mean, I can make it out, but um, I just don't think it's, maybe it's the angle that's throwing it off. I know he's running under some arches. We have some mountain work going on in the background, but I might just give the, um, the setting a check for this card. But I do like that to do a tentacle. I really like this one. I like the style, very simplistic style. Um, so I'll give that a plus. I like the setting, the shallow water. I'm going to give that a plus. And I like the story because of the expression on tentacles face. Almost looks like tentacle is like, I don't know, like begging for something. Like a tentacle looks a little sad. Like it needs something, it wants something. I kind of feel kind of sympathetic, empathetic for a tentacle in this card. But tentacle also, they managed to make tentacle look cute in this card. So it's all kind of working and coming together in this card. So a nice plus, plus, plus card there. And then we have our Ivysaur giving that look. The big fat slow bro, love it. Our Machoke, our mighty Machoke. Ooh, Geodude. Interesting. Have not seen this one yet. All right, Geodude. Love a good full moon setting. All right, why Geodude is out and about during the full moon, I don't know. Geodude's definitely on a mission. I mean, that... He's giving us a very intent look. He's intent on achieving something. So, style, give it a check. But in terms of setting and story, I'm going to give that a plus. I am rooting for Geodude in this card, whatever its mission may be. Then, oh, love the Radita. I love the style of this card. Very cute, Radita. I, Radicate freaks me out, but Radita is very cute in this card. We kind of have adorable style, setting. Uh, so, plus, plus. But a uh, story, fine. All right, it's cute. Uh, I'll give it a check. And then, let's see. Ooh, Marowak. All right, like the style of this card, and I like the story. There's like, I wouldn't think, well, maybe, no, I think what it is is uh, Marowak, I think, has kicked up the rocks, and it's swirling around. I'm going to give the style a plus for this card. I like the setting. I like the background, especially, like, the red sky in the background. So I'm going to give the setting a plus here as well. And the story's interesting. I like the action. I'll give that a check. And then, oh, no hollow energy. Okay, all right. So we got two packs, maybe, hopefully. All right, we can get another uh, hollow energy going on. But let's see. All right, we have our code. We start off with our duo, tentacle, ratata, squirtle. Big air balloon. That is a big air balloon. Ooh, I love this primate card. I love this primate card. I love this um, this green, dark sky background. Love the setting. A real plus. I like the story. It almost looks like primate, primate was looking down on us like we were just defeated by primate. Our primate has come upon us, but definitely interesting story going on here in this card got to give that a plus and i like the style gonna give the style a plus for this card as well i love that primate all right Firo have not seen it's fine i mean um settings interesting kind of like that um that dead tree in the background with the branches coming down i'll give that a plus style i'll give a check story um eh, it's fine i'll give it a minus Ooh, creepy eradicate. It just it freaks me out. I don't know. Psyduck. I have not seen this one. I like the setting. I like the, the, the colorful flowers. Um, very kind of like a, I don't know, English countryside, Alice in Wonderland kind of setting going on. I like the leaves coming around Psyduck and this card. You would think Psyduck would be able to relax, but obviously uh, it's not because he's always overthinking. Um... So I'll give this setting a plus. I like it. Style, I like it too. I'll give that a plus. And story is fine. We know Psyduck. We know Psyduck's going to have a headache. Uh, he's always going to be overthinking. So I'll give that a check. And then we have, oh, I didn't know the Vaporeon was a hollow. Okay, so we have a hollow Vaporeon. Ooh, still no hollow energy. So I think the binder collection that we opened before this it's definitely going to come out as the better of the two so far. But who knows, maybe this last pack will have something for us. 
All right, so we start off with our code. And then let's see, we start off with a radida, squirtle. Ooh, look at tongue. I have not seen this one. So I like the style. I'll give that a plus. Setting, I'll give it a minus. It, it is what it is. Story, is it's fine for a Pokemon like Lickitung. I'll give that a check. Then we have a Venonet, Dugong, Hitmonchan, Seeking. Have not seen this one. I love the Goldeen, and I'm liking the Seeking. I like the underwater setting. We have these flowers underwater. I like that. Give the setting a plus. I do like the style. I'm going to give that a plus as well. Story, not so much. Story, um, not really getting a whole lot from Seeking here. I might have to give that a minus. Is that another Pokemon? In the, no, that must be a bubble. I thought maybe that was um, a Milotic for a second in the background, but it's not. But setting and style-wise, real pluses in my book. Then we have a Rhyhorn. have not seen this one. Yeah, it's fine overall. A uh, real check kind of card for Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn here. Execute. Love this execute. Oh my goodness. Love the background, the setting of this card. That's a plus. Love the style. Going to give that a plus. And the story too. Um, something's going on. Execute is going somewhere. Again, another Pokemon on a mission is what I'm getting from this card. So I'm going to have to give that a plus as well. So let's see. Ooh, okay. All right. So we do end it with something interesting here. We have a full art Arbok EX. And we really have these contrasting the purple against this green background. Arbok's really kind of standing out again. We have a lot of good line work coming off of Arbok as well. So, all right, I will take it. I do like Arbok as a Pokemon of the original um, 151. So, I, I like all of the full art cards featured in this set. Normally, I don't, but I, I do like them here. So, good stuff. And, yes. All right, so this last pack really... Um, Really kind of brought everything home. So I don't have this hollow energy yet. I've got an electric, I've got a psychic, and now I have got this basic fighting energy. So let's see, are there any swirls coming off this one? Uh, maybe one, I guess you could argue. They're really kind of more cut off at the top here for this card, but definitely, let me move this Vaporeon down. Definitely uh, very excited. So, I mean, I think overall, in terms of, like, all the complaints that I've seen, I don't feel like I have anything to complain about here. I'm very happy uh, with what I've opened so far. So, good stuff, good stories that we got to see being told in this set so far. So, if you stuck around with me this long, thank you guys for joining me, and I will see y'all later.